All right, uh, let's see. I've got everything off. Let's go grab our buffs. Uh, let's go shop lady. What do you have? I guess let's grab the watcher. Let's grab the charm of madness. Let's buy it all. I got the money for it. it. Slows me down a little bit. We get his Vihander, but like, who gives a dang doodle about that? All right, let's go. Anyway, so what is this going to this run going to be? Attack speed and evasion. Here, hopefully we can get the. Uh, hopefully we can get the the pearl back, but I don't care that much. I'm not expecting to win this run. I'm just expecting to destroy things. Oh. There's the Hammer of Tangus. Alright. <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to be interdasting. Is going to be very interesting. Well, anything that fires a projectile at me is going to be meaningless. Okay, I have to try this. I assume the green bat does not fire as fast as I do, but I gotta try it. Okay, yeah, it doesn't fire nearly as fast. It was worth a shot, though. Anyway, uh, let's see, where are we gonna go? What are we going to do? We're going to do things. We're going to go places. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to... Okay, so I don't think I can destroy every projectile. I can just destroy most, most of them. The one problem with this is it's going to be very hard to keep track of what's going on. Uh, with my, like, with my current setup. Because it's, like, between the screen shake... I don't think I can turn that screen shake off, either. Let's see if I can. Let's open settings, screen shake, control settings. Dash to move direction. Yeah, none of these are that helpful, because I really wish I could turn off the screen shake a little bit here. Because uh, it's it's going to be hard to dodge, dodge things, considering, you know, just how much... Um, well... Just how much the screen is just jittering all over the place as a result of this. Yeah, god, that attack speed. It's only gonna get worse. By the way, I kind of wish this character did exponential damage. It didn't have, like, a cap. It just kept going. That'd be nice. Okay, max HP went down, but we get the torch. Which isn't really that helpful. So crit for days. Uh, I don't know about crit for days, necessarily. Crit would be helpful. Uh, but we want evasion. And we want attack speed. Everything else, like crit rating and whatnot, only get if it's cheap. We'll need some max health, though. Anyway, let's go back to this guy. Okay, uh, so we wanted to get the Hammer of Tengus. Toss that on instead of the Green Bat. Green Bat just isn't as helpful. Okay, and let's keep going. Oh, it's only gonna get worse. It's only going to get worse. I hold no illusions that I'm probably not going to win this. Like, I, I really probably am not going to win this run. Just because. But, uh... I'm going to stick myself directly next to a boss. And that boss is probably going to melt. I can't wait to, uh, wreck Skull -a Man with this. Or, like, half of... Half of the bosses. The only one that potentially scares me for this run... Is, uh... Eh, lava Boss is always scary. Uh, Niflheim could be a problem, just because I'm not entirely sure if her, her little things... Uh... Count? As her. Probably not, so I'll have to reset my damage. Luckily, it shouldn't be a problem. Probably. I don't know. I'm just... I'm looking forward to leveraging this. Okay, so let's tribute pretty much everything. Because I'd like to get my tribute back. So, for whatever the next run is, we can go from there. I'm hoping to get the, the golden bead back. I'm, I, I really wish you could actually carry two items with you. I know exactly why you can't, but it would be satisfying if you could.
Okay. Oh, it's bot. No, it's not boss time. Usually, they don't give me health in the beginning of a level, honestly. But yes, I'm going to be a crit machine. And it is going to be beautiful. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt real bad. I only took one hit there. Ouch. Yeah, we're going to have to invest in some max health. But that shouldn't surprise anybody. It's a shame I can't knock down magic, uh, magic spells. I wonder if I can actually knock down the Lizardmen spears. I don't think so. Actually, that's an interesting question. I know I can probably demolish, like, uh... I can probably demolish, like, arrows and stuff. Like, it'd be nice if... It'd be nice if I could knock out spells along the way. Oh, no, I did take out one of those music notes. It just took, like, a full con uh, concerted effort to do so. Okay. I don't know. Because, yeah, you can totally hit them. Maybe it just requires, like, a lot more damage than I'm doing or any number of things. I don't know. I always get hit by that. It's just kind of fact of life at this point. Okay, let's go back, grab the health from the very beginning. And then go from there. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Nope. Still looking for the food buffs. I feel like it's a lot easier to reduce your uh, satiation once you've... Or, like, early on in the game. Maybe the levels are bigger, or maybe I'm just imagining things. I don't really know. Okay, we'll have maxed out tribute by the time. I kind of wish you could actually, uh... Tribute past. Let's see, 4.2% attack speed. Like, it would be nice if you could actually tribute past, like, uh, whatever the bar is, so you could build up extra tribute levels. That'd be cool. I'd like that. But I guess that would let you supercharge a run maybe too much. One of the reasons why I like this bat compared to most spellcasting enemies is it's very obvious when they're about to cast their spell. So you can just kind of avoid it. Most other enemies, like, it... It's not very obvious when they're about to cast their, uh... Cast their spell, fire their attack. The, the, uh, skeleton archers also have, like, a very obvious one. Uh, and the fire wizards on the later levels. Like, those guys all have really obvious, uh, tells. Which makes them easier to dodge. I think that's part of the reason why I always like uh, like the Souls-like games. They, you know, might not always be the most enjoyable, but they always feel rather, rather fair. I don't know, the Skeletal Wheels were kind of bullshit, but whatever, that's it. Okay, do we have anything else? I guess let's go to the shop for a second. That's loud. What is going on out there? I think somebody's revving their muscle car outside my apartment, which is really annoying. Yeah, he's just there. All right, whatever. If you hear, like, a weird rumble in the back back of the stream, that's why. Anyway, we... Let's go see... Let's go see just how much damage we can do to, uh... The Skeleton Lord. I'd be interested to try this run on, uh, the Criminal Silhouette at some point. Oh! Oh! Oh, I, I blocked almost all of them. And there he goes. Yeah, so we we were swinging fast enough that we were actually wrecking his, uh, his little projectiles. Eh. Dangerous shotgun. Not the most helpful, but still. Is that a pick or a one-directional one shield of obliteration? Eh, column A, column B. A little bit of both. Yes. I think I think yes is a, a very easy summation to work with. The only problem is it just makes everything look downright indecipherable. I wonder if I can... 
I wonder if I can, uh... I wonder if I can destroy the ice projectiles. It'd be cool if you could actually break the, uh... The, like, ice spell before it... Before it goes off. That'd be kind of neat. Yeah, it looks like it can. Either that or it hit maximum range. It's very hard to tell what's going on with this run. The only other weapon I think I will use for this run... Okay, if we get a minigun, I might I might try it just for a second. Uh, but I actually want to try the Alloy, or whatever it's called. It's, uh, it's one of the staves. It has a fairly decent stun chance. And I want to try, like, a maximum attack speed Alloy run at some point. Uh, just for extra... Uh, just for, like, messing around a little bit more. Because, uh, you might actually be able to stunlock bosses. Which would be magic. Yep, I just demolished that before that could even, uh, spawn. Good to know. I still think an invasion tank. Ah, oh, come on! Well, there it is. Uh, so that's the Gwendolyn. That's the one with the, uh... Oh, wait, no, this is a different one. Well, okay. I wanted a different, uh... I'm not gonna use it for this run, but, uh, that defines what we're doing on the next run. Probably. Maybe. Ish. Uh, I'll figure it out. I don't know. We want to do a dash damage run immediately after this. Does anybody know if uh, attack power calculates for dash damage or, or if anything handles dash damage? Or if it's all just uh, kind of one value that gets modified by those uh, percentages? I'll have to mess around with it. I don't know. Okay, yes. So... I know you can get, like, a dash damage food, but, like, does power and crit uh, apply to dash damage? Because I've, I've never messed around with enough of it to, like, really tell. Ow? Oh. Got hit by one of those. It is. Okay. Because it might... I wonder if, like, a... Hmm. I don't know. Uh, three percent attack speed does not feel good. Well, we're getting the evasion no matter what, and then I might look at uh, max health instead of attack speed, because that is dismal. Uh, let's grab the silver earring, sell the revolver, and toss the short sword. Forget that I was still carrying it around. Okay, but yeah, so we've got the uh, that that's a cool Odin sphere reference, I believe. I'm Mila, who owned a store in a nearby town. Huh. Cause that that's totally the spear from uh from Odin's Odin Sphere. I feel bad I never finished that game. It just came out at a really awful time for me to be able to finish it. Which sucked. It's kinda normal for me. I should actually uh I need to go back and finish Witch in the Hundred Knight. I believe the uh sequel's coming out at the end of the month. End of next month. Uh, that's a series that's been off my channel for a while. I have a lot of those. Should be better about it, but whatever. Okay. So what... Uh, no, we don't have enough anyway. I could get crit. I'm not going to go attack speed. Not for this one. Let's save the buff for next floor. And it's still not... It's not... Eh, it's still not the right time for... Uh, Let's get rid of these. Wait, now. What's the point of that? We're already at max tribute. Uh, tribute. Yeah, it's not. Oh, oh! Oh! Almost died. Oh! Almost died. What hit me? I must have. I must have been standing next to an ice thing. I thought I was killing it. Un unfortunately, this character is. virtually impossible to tell what's going on. Uh, close range. Like, she'll probably melt some bosses, but I'm at 2 HP. That's not great. Yeah, the weapon is going to kill me. Yeah, honestly, I'm not, like, um, I'm not too enamored with it. It's cool, but it's also, like, really risky. I'll try the, the dash run next, I think. Unfortunately, I might have to... Ugh, I don't want to lose my mysticism for it. So I've been, um... A lot of people have been kind of mentioning the whole maximum level thing. Uh, and I have figured out how to, uh... How to increase my level past maximum. 
Uh, and so I've been toying around with that a little bit. Okay, yeah, gotta be very careful about that guy. Gotta be ca very careful about all of this. I was really hoping for health drop here. Oh, I hate that dog. It always spawns in and, and it uh, hits me because I don't even notice it's there. But yeah, I like the idea of this character. But... She's not good enough, I think. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna take the Gwendolyn with us. I like the red pickaxe, but I think we need to get a little bit uh, further in the game to make it worth it. Whereas the Gwendolyn seems pretty good. I'd like to hold on to the torch too, but let's see—is there life steal in this game? I wish. I wish there was. Okay, so yeah, we're not gonna use this character. Let's go back here. It's boutique. Let's do King of Pickaxes. Knock back enemies when you dash attack. You also take five damage. I'm scared by the king of pickaxes. Oh wait, he start he starts with one? Huh. It's um. It's not bad. Is this character worth it? Because it's it boosts my dash damage by a bunch. Yeah, who's the dash character? It's this character. I just get the feeling he's gonna kill me. Okay. Um. 